Be busy. Yep. Okay, now, Sean, how old are you at the moment? 17 now, Sam. Okay. Now, I know, Craig, that you've seen Sean swing a fair bit over the last few years, but I know that you haven't seen it that much recently. What we'd like you to do is have a look at him hit two or three shots and then isolate some key aspect to work on, please. Yeah, love to, love to. All right, Sean, let's hit a few shots and let's see how this thing looks. Well, Sean, you've done some good work over the last few years. Tell me, uh, you, you draw the ball, obviously you like that. That's, That's right. something you've done since you're a little kid to keep up with the other guys. Yep. Now you're getting a bit taller and stronger. Is that turning into a hook every now and then? I'm afraid so, yes. Yeah, okay, okay. What we're going to do today is we're going to try and just take a little bit of the draw out of that shot and get a little more control over your ball cool. flight, okay? So we're going to eliminate that hook towards the end of the round or when you're under yep. pressure, okay? So what I'm seeing happening there is you tend to add impact your body will stall a little bit, meaning it gets very still, and then your hands flip. This was the way you did it as a kid to try and get the extra distance, Correct. okay? Now you're getting a little bit stronger, we've got to get a little more rotation through impact with our body, okay? And this will stop the club turning over to the left, okay. all right? So what I'm going to do today is we're going to do a few little drills to really get a good feeling of how that rotation should go through impact, okay? Yep. So what we're going to do is I'm going to set up a flag out here, and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do. First thing, we'll just set a flag out about probably five or six metres in front of us so we can really get a good visual on what we're doing. Now normally when you'd hit a shot here, you would tend to start the ball right of this flag and work it back. That's generally That's right. your yep. stock shot. Okay, what we're going to do today is we're going to try and work a few shots around it left to right. Okay? okay, and the feeling I really want you to get hold of today is it's basically more of a body rotation. Okay, so I'm going to hit a couple of shots and show you how it should feel. Okay, so the idea is, at impact, I really want this body turning a lot harder, as opposed to this, okay? And the sort of feeling we're going to get, we're going to hit a few shots, and we're really going to get that body rotating really hard through the ball, okay? So it's more of a feeling with your chest and your stomach, alright? Let's have a go and see if we can get a few of those feelings. Okay, so need a little more turn through the here. We need to really get this feeling of this okay. body turning a lot harder than that, okay? So let's try another one. Really, really turn that midsection of your body really hard and aggressive through the ball. Yeah, that's a little closer. All right, let's hit one more. And this time what I want you to do is try and hit a low fade around there. So really rotate hard with that chest and stomach. Yeah, that's a better strike. So you're starting to get a bit of a feeling for working this a lot harder. Yep. Yep. Okay, so what I want you to do is when you're playing with your friends and so forth, I want you to have games where you play fade versus draw, okay? And I want you to start to really master this feeling. And it's not a hold off feeling with the hands, it's more of a rotation of the body. Yep. Once you get hold of that, you'll be able to apply the strength of your stomach and then you can start to hit the ball a lot straighter and more consistent. Yep. But you're going to go all right with that. That's great, right. Chip. Okay, fantastic lesson there, uh, Craig. Now, I think what I noticed from standing off the sidelines there was that on Sean's first couple of shots, very shallow inside attack, we didn't see a divot. On your first shot when you demonstrated, we saw that nice divot, and then Sean worked towards taking a divot like that. It was very good. Yeah, so it's a lot more, he's covering the ball a lot more. And yeah. Keeping the club on line a little more as opposed to a glance and blow with his hands. Yeah, okay. much better content. How did that feel for you, Chip? Beautiful, Sam. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, um, I think the key part of this lesson was that for a lot of um, parents out there that have a junior, as they get taller, they get stronger, um, they really do need a great teaching professional like yourself to keep monitoring the swing and the changes that need to take place. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the, the young kids, they're products of their environments. So when they're playing with their friends, there's a lot of pressure for them to hit the ball a certain way. I mean, you tend to hear the younger kids, they really hate fading the ball and so forth. So as they get older and they become better players, it's really important to get that balance back. And the way you've got to do it is rather than having them hit 
thousands of balls, you've actually got to try and make it a bit of fun for them and maybe make it uh, a lot more competitive, do it with their mates and they'll really get a, a handle on these aspects without them trying to do it. Of course, and uh, to be successful out on tour, well, you've got to have the draws and the fades, haven't got you, Got to mate? have them all. Thanks, gentlemen, for being on the show with us today. Thanks, Thanks Sam.